Now, if you think your Toyota truck has a stretched timing chain, this is something you can do at home very easily and very quickly. So if you're new here, this is a 2007 FJ Cruiser, just under 104,000 miles, getting into or at the point that this front timing cover is about to come off. But before I do that, this is something you can do with the drive belt installed, the radiator hoses, everything installed. And right here is a little window held on by four 10 mil fasteners. So what you would do on your vehicle, this is the passenger side obviously, is remove these four fasteners. Once again, you can do it with everything still installed, just a little tight, and use your phone, which you'll see in a moment. Use your phone to fit into the space and see what the tensioner, right behind here is a tensioner. Just four, that's it, just four fasteners. So with your phone, make sure that the light is on. You want to peek at the tensioner. This is known as the number one tensioner. It's on the main timing chain. And we can see by the plunger that it is completely out. It is at its maximum. You can see the rings on the plunger. So this is a very, very good indication that this timing chain, so it's the main chain, it's this guy, okay? This is the main timing chain, runs all the way down and back up, that this guy is out of time. So I just wanted to show this, especially for those of you that are seeing trouble code P0016. Now, very quickly as we wrap this up, I've read on forums that that could be a cam sensor, crank sensor, the variable valve timing solenoid, all of these other things. You're really in the dark if you're just going to throw money into parts and not diagnose what's going on. So the easiest thing is removing that window and look at the plunger. If, it's, if it is that far out, high probability you have to replace the timing chain. The other thing to keep in mind is that trouble code, P0016, is a mechanical issue. Okay, Only three possibilities. Stretch timing chain. The timing chain jumped a tooth or it's a, a ECM or a computer issue. Now chances are low probability it's a computer issue unless your car was flooded maybe or your truck was flooded so you have a high probability remove that window see what's going on and you can diagnose and go from there. If you want to follow along and see what it takes to remove the chain I'm slowly uploading videos if you want to do the work yourself you'll save probably two grand twenty five hundred bucks at least not hard, but there are a lot of steps for sure. So if you want to follow along, please subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.